Welcome back, guys, to the next part of completing the Mega Halo, which is um, which has turned out to be a pretty damn big project. I d when I started it, I didn't realise quite how long it was going to take. Um, just before we get started, a couple of things. Uh, first of all, somebody, um, in fact, I think more than one person pointed out that these two stations, because they're joined like this, can actually swap goods between it between them. Now, the reason that I was um, like um, over here. Uh, putting them as parallel stations was so that they were so they were out of range of each other, so that they like explicitly so that they couldn't do that. But because of um, because of the oil, uh, the oil, uh, the oil refinery over here, um, it's I think it's going to benefit us more having these in this arrangement where we can like dispense with all of the lorries and stuff, and it can just get transferred very very easily. Um, I think it's worth the trade-off with the fact that these stations will probably pass goods to each other. It is what it is. Um, and actually, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how, like, how much they do that and how that impacts everything. So, so yeah, I think it'll be, I think it'll be an interesting exercise. Right. Um, that was um, that was the one thing. Uh, what was the other thing? I was going to mention something else. I can't think what it was now. <laughs> Seriously, I can't remember what the other was. God, my memory is appalling. Uh, I can mention I was going to um, uh, increase the number of airplanes on the, at the air, at the air, at the airports to to see if increasing the frequency would uh, would bump up the the number of people using them. But I don't think we'll bother doing that until we get at least the third airport in over here and, and get that sorted out. Uh, this airport's obviously got to be ripped out. Right, so what are we going to do next then? Well, we've um, we've done the Mega Halo all the way up to here. So the the next section is uh, is from, from here. Uh, Viewtoville, Rootborough, uh, to dogging, so it's um, it's these three towns. Uh, but we've also got the the outer halo, uh, which is currently coming into um, yeah, coming into Viewtoville um, here, uh, and that needs to be routed round the out. Like I don't know, God knows where I'm going to put the station, but that needs to be routed round the outside of uh, Viewtoville or through the middle or something, and then that needs to go. Probably round the outside of Rootborough and then get hooked back up to the uh, to the Mega Halo, like somewhere over here. Like I'm not exactly sure how that's going to happen. Um, and then there'll just be a, a single station in the middle of Premier Two Caton. So there's going to be, um, unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of knocking down goes on in here because we're going to have to put in one of the big stations to uh, to accommodate all that traffic. Because it's the full the full eight tracks coming through here. Yeah, that's gonna be a big one. I mean, I suppose. Well, I mean, I suppose I could route the the cargo and the and the rest of the halo around the outside. But no, no, I'm just gonna go straight in there. I'm just gonna go straight in there. So I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is go away and do that. Now, if it's um if it's pretty smooth. Then I might uh, I might time lapse it for you. I'll I'll record it and see how smooth it is. If it's smooth, I'll time lapse it. I'm not going to do any decoration. I'm just going to focus on doing it as quickly as possible, just like banging it in, because because I want to get this functional again as quickly as possible. So how about I shut up and get on with it?
dawn I see you shine When I feel that heartbeat, heartbeat I fly so much higher Fly so much higher Fly so much higher Fly so much higher Sky lines and clouds are below us now Sky dive back down don't let go, skyward bound When I feel that heartbeat, heartbeat, I fly so much higher.
Okay, so that is the next section of the Mega Halo done. So we've only got one section left, which is this um, this run from here through uh, through dogging past the uh, the TGV station and uh, through Winston and Landsberg Heights and up to Maisley. Um, here's um, here's Maisley uh, Maisley Freight here. We've got to put in the other half of that. <laughs> which like I said before is going to be a bit difficult but yeah I mean I don't know we, I should be able to kind of just like shuffle this up a bit maybe just like to there even and fit another one in there it's um yeah it's it's tricky because I've also got this which is the the local coming through here um, which is yeah, come oh man, <laughs> this is this is not easy. And I'm, I'm looking at this and thinking, well, hang on a second, how the hell am I going to get the food coming into the other one? Yeah, yeah, I, I honestly, honestly, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I, hang on, I tell you what I could do. I tell you what I, uh, you know what, I was thinking of putting it on the other side, but no, I couldn't because that would give me all kinds of freaky problems. Um, now that is. That's a little bit problematic now. You know what? I'm not going to worry about that now. Um, I was looking. I was looking at this because this this bit of track here, right? It it goes down a bit too far before it comes up into the station. Now I can't decide whether I love it or I hate it, and I think I hate it, right? Um, but like I, at certain points, I look at it and think that's kind of cool having that kind of rise up into the into the station um, but the other thing that I have thought about um, I don't know um, where should I do it like I don't know uh, is to is to maybe you know you know what I'll do it here I'll do it here this is just something I was thinking about literally while I was laying the last bits of track I, this idea kind of popped into my head and it's to try and make um, building roads and whatever around the station may be a bit easier. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this back a bit. Um, yeah, I guess I'm guess I'm going to relay it, I'll, and I'll relay it a, a bit more sensibly this time. So let's take you back, probably maybe two more rows. Yeah, that should do. So if we take that button like that. Right, and then what I was thinking was, so if we raise the terrain, mm, kind of, kind of, sort of like that, and yeah, bit, bit more, I think. Right, then smooth it off. Okay, how are we doing now? Okay, that's that's probably about what we want. That's probably about what we want. So now I'm kind of tempted to put like a road, like a large street or something, like across here, like that, and then. So that we've kind of, so we've kind of got sort of like a bit of an edge to work with at one end, and then the kind of the station will act as the the edge at the other end. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. It's probably this probably won't work at all, but <laughs> we'll give it a try. So now, if I drop that down, aha, we can get a tunnel actually 
uh, like relatively quickly, but it's giving me a. It's upset about the terrain. Why are you upset about the terrain? Damn you! The hell's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. Oh, there. Ah, there we go. Now, so if we take it into the tunnel like that. So if we if we accept that one and then do the same thing with this one the problem is that this is going to be upset because it's too close to this one but it's not absolutely next to it oh man could this be a bit more blooming difficult like really um how else can i do this I mean, now, this one, obviously, that's easy. That, that'll just link up to that. That's not a problem. The problem is, like, this one. Because that won't do it, I don't think. So if we tell you to just go down max, take you out to about the same distance, will you? No, you won't. No, you won't. Because you're too damn close to that. Oh, man. Now, i tell you what I could do. Um, I could put like a piece of track in there to make a tunnel entrance there and one on that side to make a tunnel entrance there and then see if I could bring this one out like if I bring it out to there and reduce it to 71 and then do it like that and then that one would work but then that one's gonna have to deviate quite a lot quite quickly that's the problem um, well, I, ca I can't even remember what speed I set it up as. Um, tell you what, if we, if we like take it back to there, use that as our, that as our like marker. So, hang on a sec. Uh, um, there. Okay, so if we, oh, come on, work. There we go. So if we do that and that, so we want to hook. So I may as well put in like all, all of them. And I need one extra, don't I? Yeah. And then the same on this side. So there's going to be two and then there's going to be a fake one. And then two on this end. There and there. Okay, and then what we want this to actually do is that goes to there, that goes to there, that goes to there. A little bit slow pulling into the station, but I don't mind that for the uh, for the aesthetic benefit. Oh no, I only need two on this side, don't I? Yeah, I only need two on this side. So that goes into there. That goes into there. So actually I didn't need that one, that one, and that one, and I don't need that one, and I don't need that one, I don't need that one, okay. So how does that actually look? It's actually not too bad. So let me get the old smoothing tool. Smooth this off. How do we look? Not too bad. Not too bad. Smooth this off kind of nicely. Yeah, that's not too bad. I could live with that. I could live with that. And then if we put a road going like over the top, so something like that. Yeah, that, that could kind of sort of work-ish. We'd obviously want to realign that road so we could get rid of that. Smooth it down. Bring that up a little bit. Now, we probably want that a bit smoother on this side, but like generally speaking, 
Now, especially when it builds buildings over here, which it should build buildings along that side of the road. Yeah, we'd probably want a road, like a, a couple of roads going across here, maybe parallel. I don't know. That's, that's kind of what I had in mind. And then try and encourage some buildings to grow on top of that. We can uh, level this off a bit over here. Like that. Uh, that obviously needs to come up a bit more, which we could encourage it to do that just by putting in a road across there like that. There we go. Which gives us a nice smooth edge to work with. Isn't a bad idea. And then... Smooth that off a little bit more. There we go. Right, cool. So now all we've got to do is hook these tracks up to these tunnels. And we might have something that actually works. So that would hook up to there. Uh, but we want it to come out a bit further than that, don't we? Yeah, we do. Right, so... Run this out a little bit more. Not far enough, do you think? Is that far enough? I can't, I can't really tell. Level that off a bit more. Let's try. Let's try this. See. So, come on. yeah, it's, it's kind of difficult with the stupid road in the way. There we go. I think that's it. So that would hook up to there. Yeah, that's, I think that's leaving enough room for some, some half-decent buildings. Um, I could always put a road in front of this, but I kind of don't really want to. Now, by the way, um, a couple of people left comments about this. I have mentioned this, this, um, this type of bridge before. This is a mod that I got, uh, and it puts that kind of bridge in. But I don't think I want to use that. I haven't found a place where I really want to use that. This is, I don't know, this this would be really cool by, I don't know, like a a dam or something but I don't think it's appropriate for uh, for here so um, yeah we'll now the thing is do I bring these together so that we just have a single tunnel thing here um, actually I tell you what I could do this would make sense this would make a lot of sense if um, if I do one of the middle ones first oh come on stop it behave Keep. If I did one of the, one of the middle ones rather than doing one of the outside ones first, so like that one maybe. Okay, so let's let's take that. I think. Yeah, let's take that. Then what we'll do is run these others in just so that it makes the tunnel entrance like that. And these three, hopefully, come on, go to the same place. There we go, I think. And that one. And that one. There we go. Right, cool. So that we've got, we've got a single tunnel entrance, and then we'll hook these up to where they're supposed to hook up to. So that goes to there. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, I hooked it up the wrong way. Let's do that again. Uh, let's try that again. So, uh, that one should go to that one. Aha, there we go. And that connects to there. God, all of this just to get this little tunnel entrance in. But uh, you know what? I think it's. I think this was worth worth doing because I think this would be quite cool. I might do. Uh, I might do some more of these around the map, but uh, it did take a little bit of time to put together. So you're going to go like that, and you're going to go like that. All right, cool. So let's get out of there now. 
So it's going to go into a bit of a trench. Now you imagine when we've got buildings on top of here. It should be quite cool. And then you'll have the journey through the tunnel. And then you'll come out the tunnel at the other end. And boom, you're into the station. Which I think is quite cool. What do you think? What do you think of that? Is that a good idea? I think that was a reasonably good idea. I might just drop this down a little bit, this bit over here. Just level this off just a touch, maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe just over here. Let's, uh, let's maybe do that. So let's, uh, let's just take it down a bit. Like that. And then, oh, and then we'll just have a bit of a smooth. It's, is it max size? Yeah, it's max size. So let's just smooth this out now. Just this side over here. Because what I want really is for is for this side to be about the same level as this side. Is kind of what would be ideal. Because I think then it'd look kind of look quite nice if both sides were going in at the same point. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's. I think this is this is worth spending a tiny bit of time on. These, are, I mean, once you start getting into the looks, this is why this is why really I want to get this whole thing like at least hooked up and working so that I can start focusing on the looks of the place and you know, like how is it gonna look when it's finished? Because because that, that for me is kind of like the real fun. Okay, so let me just smooth that off a little bit there. Yeah, that's much better. That's much better. Uh, we want to actually take it down just a tiny bit on top there. Right, that I think is about what I want. Why is that suddenly lifted up? Oh, because I was using. Ha 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 ha! Didn't mean to do that. Let's try it. Let's take that down again. There we go. The rest was good. It's just that bit that I went a bit crazy on. Right, let's level that out. Hopefully. Come on, level. Level, damn you. All right, how's that? Yeah, that works. That works. Maybe just smooth that corner off a little bit. There we go. All right, cool. Now, obviously, we've got to kind of decide um, how the the transport system is going to work in here. I am not even going to attempt to do that in this video, I don't think. Um, we've got so... Well, we. I have got so much to do in terms of... I've got... I've still got to finish sorting out the, the road system over here in, in Viewtiful. Um... I've, I've actually got quite a lot of work to do on the road system in Sparksville as well. And Barrington. I, I've got... I've actually got a freaking ton of work to do on the individual cities. And now I've added Rootborough. Um, I've got to sort all the roads out for, for Rootborough around both stations. Um, I've got to f finish the roads here. And that's just for those. And then I've got to do uh, Dogging, Winston... Landsberg Heights and uh, and part of Maisley. Well, most of Maisley, actually. Oh, man. Yeah, so that's... Um, I think at this point I'm going to go offline and uh, and put this in. And then I'll come back and show it to you. Does that sound like a good idea? All right, let me get on with it. Okay, um, I've spent <laughs> quite a few hours on this now. And I think um, now's a kind of a, a good point to bring you bring you back into the process and kind of explain what I've been thinking about while I've been doing this because I've, I've been trying to figure out like not how to do it but how to present the the, the videos to you um, in in a way that kind of keeps you involved in it and the problem is like doing too much of it offline you don't get you don't get to understand why I've made decisions that I've made and like I, you potentially lose the um, 
like the character of it and like why why it's developed the way it has and stuff so I, I wanted to bring you back in now here's like here's Rootbra now I spent I don't know I spent about three hours just on Rootbra and as you can see there's there's hardly any of it left and I didn't I didn't mean to destroy this much of it um, but like a lot of it got changed when I was kind of like putting in the actual um, uh, tram routes and and uh, and freight routes and stuff and it's that it's that kind of evolution of the system uh, of the of the city that that i think kind of gives you that kind of emotional bond to it if you know what i mean so that you go oh, yeah, 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 I, I remember that road going in and i remember that trying to get that tunnel in and stuff like that rupra i'm really freaking pleased with rupra I think Ripper is really nice now. You've got um, so this is the, this is the outer halo. Well, it's kind of the inner halo, isn't it? But you know, it becomes the outer halo here. So uh, th this station coming through here now. Each of the cities, I'm trying to give their own individual personalities, um, and 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 not have them like all cookie cookie cutter. So that you know they're all like. Um, they're all like you know Bickety. But I mean Bickety's a good layout. You know, it's like slinging a. a Tram, a nice big circular tram route around the outside, and then maybe have some some transport in the middle or whatever. Um, you know, Rogi Rogi was similar but different because the the train station's kind of in the middle. So then we've got like the kind of the, the two halves doing that. But I don't want to just keep repeating that. So so like with Rupra, I tried to do some very different things. Where's Rupra? Here we go. So Rupra, we've got obviously we've got the station over here. Um, and then this kind of big sprawling area over here going up to this um, this, this coal mine, which um, we're not actually using this coal mine. Uh, but we've got some uh, we've got some buildings up here, so I thought I'd kind of extend the sprawl out in that direction. And then started to started to put this in, and I thought, well, you know, we'll we'll kind of have a road going through there, right? But I wanted to try and keep as much of the old town as possible. Had some fun. Um, this is this track slightly raised, so I thought, yeah, we'll put a we'll put a, a tunnel under here to connect the two sides, and then the same on the other side, and uh, and got this tunnel in here, and kind of I had to lower the roads on each side to get a tunnel to actually go under here, uh, but that kind of worked out nicely, and then uh, the the two bridges going over to the other side, and then I thought, well, how about if we like have the bridges going over, and then we tunnel them under so that we can actually get to both sides and then started to you know, like develop out the areas that are going to build out around it um, but then I, th I thought hang on a second how am I going to distribute freight within the city so I had a look at the uh, had a look at this and I saw that the majority of the the residential was over here there was there was still a bunch of residential over here and there was some uh, commercial over here. But and I thought, well, hang on a second. How about if we make this the industrial and commercial side? Right, and you can see we've got industrial buildings going, going right out here. Uh, and make this the residential side. Oh, and there's a, there's a commercial building there that I don't want. A bit of you. Um, so then that's why half the buildings got knocked down. Because um, I, I took out all the residential from this side of the tracks. So this is going to be purely residential this is going to be purely um, uh, uh, the industrial com uh, commercial side uh, but even now I'm looking at it and thinking well hang on a second if people are coming to to the this docks and I should get out of that uh, if people are coming to this docks from um, from Lyselot, um how are they going to get to that side because let me show you how I've laid out the, 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 the transport and stuff. So if we bring up this, here we go. So what we've got, we've actually got um, two tram routes on this side. So we've got, yeah, it's kind of, I, I should have picked different colors because they were showing up a bit better than this before. Let's go down to, now these are tram routes. I've used exclusively tram routes. So we want tram um, route, bro, don't we? Where are we? Down the bottom. And I know people are going to go, why don't you why don't you click on the filter? Yeah, I could do. Uh, here we go. So we've got tram, route by one, tram, route by two, and three. Come on. There we go. Right, so. Let's bring those up. You know what? If we make this, I don't know, maybe if we make this light blue or something, maybe that'll stand out better. Yeah, maybe. Right, so. We've got this um, this orange line. 
which goes from the uh, from the station down round here and it goes clockwise and then anti-clockwise and then we've got this this blue route which is just round here so it connects the um, the docks to the uh, to the railway station and we've got a we've got a tram station in here I thought I'd try that out I, I think I'm gonna go with that now I could split it into separate routes if um, if like that doesn't work out but that should be okay I think um, the the thing is there's no there's there's no real way for the residents to get across to that side is what I'm realizing so I think we need to do something about that now fortunately I have got uh, tram tracks going through these um, these two tunnels here so we could do something to connect those up if we actually wanted to and it's um it's kind of an interesting idea uh, see I'm wondering if we have I don't know because I don't want the uh, the railway stations to get too the, like the roads along by the railway stations to get too clogged up so I'm just wondering if we put like a something that goes maybe um, man it's, it's, it's tough though and this corner is going to be freaking horrible for the trams uh, the trams going that way because they've got that bend and that bend to, to cope with um, like I wonder if like, could I get a road in? Um, let's see. If I, I could just—I mean, I could get away with just using like a medium straight. Can I hook that up to that in any way? Yeah. Not easily is the answer. I don't know if we bring that out. No. Um, I could maybe move those down fractionally to make that happen. Uh, the, I mean, the alternative is to get to change this road. So this road is connecting up there. But I do kind of want this through road for the through traffic that's going along this river. I've put this kind of river road along here. Now, the the reason that I'm putting this road in along here, which then goes um, through Viewterville, uh, all the way along here through Sparksville. And then comes all the way along through to Barrington, which is, that's what I was working on. I want to talk to you about that in a sec. Um, the reason that I'm putting that road in is because I want to put like um, uh, a bus route, like a coach route, kind of like Greyhound buses in the States, um, like intercity buses. So that as well as taking the trains, they can also take, um, take the bus. Because some people like to travel fast, some people like to travel as cheap as possible. Uh, so it will get more people uh, moving between the cities and take a bit of pressure off the off the trains as well which would be a good thing um, so yeah man but you can see even like even small changes can take a long time man, hook it up to that. come on there we go oh my god I think we've got it hooray yeah wrong one smooth it down Okay, cool. All right, so now we could we could run trams around there relatively smoothly. I think maybe. I think maybe, okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put in we'll put in a new line. Um, let's make this red that should stand out right, so then we can set line line three boom okay so that's that oh man okay so uh, that is just the tram lines and in actual fact I want to change this don't I this is uh, this is tram root borough four there we go now as well as the tram routes we're also distributing the freight so, uh, yeah, we can leave that on, I guess. And so if we look at this and go to, um, what do I want? I want RF Rootborough. Where are we? RF Rootborough. Right, we've got four freight distribution routes, and they're just point to point. And they're going to bus stops within the 
within the city. So we've got one going over to uh, the Grove over here, which should cover this, this quarter. And then this one, which will cover this area. Then this guy, which is going to cover hopefully up into here. It's not going to get like right out here, but it'll cover like the majority of it. And then we've got um, Root Annex over here, which is covering this and, and getting up a little bit into there as well. So, um, so yeah, no, I, I haven't actually put, uh, oh, I have got vehicles on those. Yeah, because these were, I, I reused the original four lines. So, uh, so yeah, we've got vehicles on there as well. But as you can imagine, putting all of that in, and obviously I put, um, I had, to, I had to play around with the roads and widen the roads for the new routes and put all the, the bus routes in so that they, they're, they're running on bus routes. Uh, and widening those roads knocked down a lot of buildings as well. And that is why the, the combination of doing all of those things has left us with like virtually no freaking buildings here. So, yeah. So that's Rootbra. Um, I've also been working on uh, Premier 2 Caton. And uh, like particularly on this on this area around here, I reworked a lot of this to get this in. And then I was trying to think, like, how the hell I'm going to do something over here to allow traffic to go backwards and forwards here. And I still haven't figured out how the hell I'm going to do that. Like, because I kind of want this road in here. But the problem is having that road in there kind of precludes having any bridges or tunnels going across. So... I don't know. I, I've, I've been thinking about maybe having a bridge coming from a road inside that actually goes goes over this road, right? Like, and that now now is a good probably a good time to move up to um, Barrington, I think. Uh, no, not Barrington. Yes, but uh, no, not Barrington. Where did I do this? I oh, know it was no, it was Barrington. I was doing that wasn't it nope apparently not apparently not what the hell was i doing it then oh troy that's right i skipped barrington i was i was working on troy because i i suddenly realized that i needed to be a bit more organized about the way i was doing it even though i'm fairly disorganized with the way i'm telling you about it uh, and obviously we started from here so i thought well let's let's go and work on troy and it was um it was troy that kind of made me stop because the f the first thing i decided to do um, I'd already got this um, this road going through here uh, and this road on that side. And then I thought, well, wouldn't it be cool to have like a river road going kind of down here and we'll have a bunch of roads um, connecting to this road um, so that we can grow buildings down here. And then, and then I was thinking about the bridges and I thought, well, it'd be really nice to have like a big central bridge and have this road going under the bridge. So I put this this in did that um, and then did the same on this side thought oh, well let's have a road going underneath that that would be quite cool and, um, and I really do like that bridge and I thought well we, we kind of need a like a we don't need but I think it'd be nice to have a, a, a central route going up here so I, I cut a swathe through here and put this um, this large road going straight up to the uh, to the other station so we could kind of have trams just like running backwards and forwards up this up this street between the two stations and then and then I started thinking about, OK, you know, like, what am I going to do here? And like, am I going to knock this down and have a like a similar kind of river road going along here? And that was the point at which I thought, no, 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 they like stop because doing all these these cool things, I've got to put in two more bridges um, along here. And I was like, no, you know, the guys want to see this. They want to see how the cities are developing. So, so that was the point where I, I stopped with uh, with Troy. Um, we've got similar issues with Barrington, but Barrington I want to do in a, in a different way. I don't I don't want to just like copy the layout from here. So with here we'll we'll have a bridge. We won't have the um, the river road going underneath here. Or if we do, then it'll have to like tunnel under here or something because I want it to be different. Um, and again, we've got that that central road going up here. So we've got. We've got this route going round here, which is kind of leaning towards having a, a a tram route going like round here. I don't know. Maybe we need a, like a bridge across here, and then and just have like a central tram route in the, in Barrington, and then in in Troy, maybe we go for 
I don't know, maybe we go for an outer one with a with a one just going up and down here. I don't know, I'm not sure. Um, but I want to, the thing is, I want to spend time on these and I want to put personality and character in them and I want to like dress them up and, and, and do a lot of work on them. So what I'm going to do in terms of the um, finishing off the, um, the mega halo. Um, oh, and I've done a, I've done a load of work on, um, on Sparksville as well. Um, specifically, uh, I reworked this line from the, uh, from the building materials. I put in an extra platform. Uh, sorry, no, I put an extra platform here and double track this. <clears throat> uh, and then double track this line all along here. Double tracked over this bridge. That was interesting, trying to get that to go across here. Because uh, it wouldn't go across here because of the pillars. So I had to actually um, rework this section of track to space the tracks out so that the, I could actually get pillars in here. And then um, I redid this, and I've I've quad tracked this. So we're going to have we're going to have two two double tracked lines going in here because this is going to have to produce a huge amount of food to uh, to supply like both sides of this. So I thought we needed to do that, and I like smoothed this curve out and did some other stuff. Um, so yeah, yeah. So, so that was that, and I've still got like a fair amount to do. Uh, with uh, with Viewtoville because um, I've got I've completely got to figure out the the transport routes and whatever I haven't, I haven't done any of that yet and I need to decide like am I going to try and encourage the the commerce in one area or blah 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 like I've got to do that for all the cities but I think what makes the most sense at this point is to focus on just just getting the mega halo completed so putting in this this final section. Um, which is the most complicated section because I've got to figure out how the hell I put the mega halo through here. We've got the the, the TGV station here and I want to put um, a couple of airports in here. So this is going to be freaking horrendously complicated. Uh, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. So once we've got the mega halo working and all the passenger and freight trains you know, running around on their different sections and whatever. Then we go and start to do what I've done to Rootborough to the individual cities because for me, that's it's a lot of fun crafting the individual cities. And I want you guys to see that. I want you to know the road layout in, in each of the individual cities. I want you to feel, you know, like connected to them, which, um, which me doing it offline kind of takes that away so so there you go so we'll leave it there for this episode um please let me know what you think of the plan and if you've got better ideas or different ideas or whatever um leave me a comment and let me know um i am kind of feeling kind of stressed to get that to actually get the trains running again so yeah i i, I hope that you agree with the basic plan of in the next episode, finish the mega, the, the mega Halo. Don't worry about the streets and all the other stuff. Get the trains running again and then start working on the individual towns. Let me know what you think of the idea. I will catch you for the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. Peace out.